Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Please keep hitting those like buttons and subscribe. It really does a fantastic thing for my channel. I appreciate it. Okay, Aquarius, what is coming in for you for January 2023? What can Aquarius expect January 1st through the 15th? Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, first thing out. Okay, Aquarius. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you're going into this month very busy. And I feel like you're usually busy anyway. But yeah, I feel like it, <laughs> this is a new kind of busy. So I feel like this is something that is really bringing something out of you. Let's see, we have the Empress. We have the King of Wands. Wow, okay. The Strength card. We have the Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you're going from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, okay. You have the Two of Pentacles. You have the Five of Cups. Oh, excuse me, the King of Cups. King of Cups. And the Seven of Wands. Okay. At the bottom... You have the Two of Cups, Aquarius. So definitely, you know, with this with this second row down here, I feel like you're really concentrating on work. You're putting your head back into the game. You're trying to make that money. Uh, you're trying to balance a few things. And I feel like maybe... Um, You're trying to find time for someone special. But I feel like you're you're kind of you you want to go from this 5 of pentacles here to this 10 of pentacles. So I feel like you are you're working very hard because you want to you know grab that abundance. You want that money. You want you you're working on your dollars here. Um but I feel like you're trying to find time for love, too. I feel like you have this in your thoughts. That if you are single, you want this love to approach. And this love may be approaching to you. It may be coming in. But I feel like you're going to have to set your priorities to make time for love. You're going to have to balance things out. So that you have time to socialize. Time to really um build on this union now in business this could also you going into a partnership you may be going into some kind of partnership with a person to start a business something that is taking you from not making much money to feeling kind of um in doubt that it's going to create the abundance that you're looking for going from this doubtful situation that it's not going to go into fruition it's not going to create abundance to create an abundance definitely so some kind of idea that you are doing is kind of really taking momentum it's going from something that's very low to something that's very high and i feel like that is really pushing you into you know doing many things you're trying to multitask 
different things here. Yeah, something is very successful for you because you have the Two of Cups, you have the Six of Cups, and you also have the Nine of Cups here. So yeah, I feel like something is very being, something is, Something is being very profitable, and I feel like you're very passionate about it. All these cards are upside down, so that's why I'm kind of moving it around. Um, definitely. And I, I feel like you're working with the team here. You're feeling support. This could also be you celebrating your success. You, you have reason to celebrate, Aquarius. Definitely. Definitely reason to celebrate. Wow, okay. Now, since we've already covered this bottom, let's go to the top. Okay, you have Aquarius. You have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So definitely, I feel like you're very busy. I feel like things are moving really fast. Um, I feel like you are thinking a lot about the future. You are really having an abundance of new ideas, new thoughts, new energy to put into something. But I feel like your fire is definitely ignited. Some kind of thoughts, some kind of energy that you're in is really putting a fire within you. It's really making you very fruitful for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. I believe that you're you're giving birth to new ideas here. You're definitely giving birth to some new venture that you're working on, some new project. Something that you're very passionate about. Something that may also bring you a lot of A lot of attention. I feel like whatever this is, people are looking at it. This may be something that you're doing in social media, something that you're doing online, but I feel like people are going to it. People are viewing it. People are taking notice. And I feel like because of this, you feel very powerful. You feel very ignited. I feel like it's bringing you a lot of confidence. It's bringing you a lot of satisfaction in your situation. Definitely. I feel like you're very curious, courageous. You are going into this situation with new hope, new strength. This is you being very strong, being very hopeful. Now, we've already went through this situation, but yeah, with this Five of Pentacles, I feel like you you are going into the situation very quickly. Something's going to happen very quickly. That's why I'm saying I feel like it may be social media. It may be something that's online, but it may be something that you just really put the word out about and people are coming to support you. People are taking you from this doubtful feeling that it's not going to make any money to this overflow of abundance. If this isn't a project, this is just you in general, um, Aquarius. I feel like where you had less confidence, now you have an abundance of confidence. And I feel like that's taking you to a higher level. But something is actually bringing in more income for you. Something is bringing you maybe more income than you expected. Because with the Two of Pentacles and the King of Cups, I see that you're very happy. You're, you are very satisfied with the situation. You're feeling very supported. Very strong and capable. 
And this may lead you to be able to support more people, to show them love, to show them some kind of generous gift or quality. You have the two of pentacles. So I definitely feel like, I feel like you're multitasking. I feel like you're doing several things at once. You're kind of throwing each pinnacle up in the air and you're kind of juggling here. But I feel like this is, I feel like this juggling here, that this, this is an easy task. Look, he's holding his, he's holding one leg up. Like, you know, this is nothing. I can juggle this. I can, I can juggle more than this. You know, I'm doing very, um, I'm very successful right now. I'm very victorious. Yeah, so you may be the spotlight, Capricorn. People may be looking at you. And you have the Seven of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like, you know what, in, in this situation, I feel, in, like I said, there may be love coming through, but I feel like you're working so hard. You're working. You're putting your mind into work. And I feel like this card, the Seven of Wands, this is you getting ahead of any competition. I feel like any competition can't even match what you're doing. No one can compete with Aquarius. There's no competition. There's no match for what you're doing. It may, be doing, it may be that you're doing something so unique that someone has not thought of it. But I feel like you're going above and beyond. You are, you can't even be competed with. Okay, Aquarius. What do we have for you? Tell us more about these cards. January 1st through the 15th. Tell us more about these cards, please. Okay. Yeah, you have the Seven of Swords. So, yeah, with this energy, I would be careful about people who come into your circle who are not very reliant who may betray you, definitely. Okay, because I feel like something's coming in with this Seven of Swords that's going to end something. Something is ending. Something's going to be totally transformed. And this may be you, Capricorn, um, transforming from this Five of Pentacles to this Ten of Pentacles. This may be you going through this total transformation in your situation having this ending and in this new beginning it may be a uh, ending to your doubts and fears on the situation it may be a beginning for a new abundant year for you yeah because you have the you have the eight of cups here Aquarius, I feel like I feel like someone is walking away from a situation and you're left holding something saying that, you know, this is what I'm left with. This is all I've got left. This is all that's left of this situation. And I feel like whatever is left of the situation is not enough to keep hold of. So I feel like you're letting this person walk away. You're letting this ending. You're letting them move on. And you have the Ace of Swords again. So definitely some kind of... You're finding out a truth about something, Aquarius. The truth is coming out. And you have the Two of Pentacles 
again. So you have the Ace of Swords and the Two of Pentacles twice. So definitely, definitely, I feel like things are coming out in the open for you. Whatever the situation is, um, things are out in the open. Things have come to light that you may not have been aware of. And now because of these things that you're now aware of, you're finding out the truth. You're finding out this, this huge secret. Now you, you're making choices. You're making plans. This may be you making plans to move on in this situation. I believe that's why this Eight of Cups is here. You're moving on. Yeah, there's definitely an ending here, Aquarius, because you have the Ten of Swords on the bottom. So, yeah, with the Death card and the Ten of Swords. Now, you do have um, a new beginning here because you have the Ace of Swords. So, I feel like it's a new beginning. I feel like, you know, you're, you've come to this ending. You've let this person go. And I feel like, you know, maybe you were anticipating that this person would come back or this thing uh, would come back into your life but yeah I I don't see that it will but I feel like this is a new beginning for you after this ending after this ending there's a new beginning and I feel like there's there's another opportunity with this two of cups there's another opportunity because you have the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So I feel like there's an, a new opportunity. Someone, someone is coming to approach you with an offer. And I feel like it's going to spark an energy for you. Definitely. Definitely spark an energy for you. But you definitely have a new beginning here. Okay. What do we have for Aquarius? The 1st through the 15th. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay. We have choose a new direction. Yeah, I feel like with this Eight of Cups here, with this situation, and this may be a love situation that you're leaving and you're, you're becoming more grounded in your work. Um, but yeah, I feel like you, you're choosing a new direction and I feel like that's why there's so many work things here. That's why you have the strength card. That's why, you know, you're being courageous. You are healing. You're choosing a new direction here. And see, you have romance. So something something new is coming, Aquarius. And whatever question that you may, a may be asking, the answer is yes. You're going to get a yes, Aquarius. Beautiful energy. Okay, let's get some monology cards. <clears throat> What's coming in for Aquarius, January 1st through the 15th? Let's get some cards. Okay, Aquarius. Yeah, and you're showing up. Full moon in Aquarius. Definitely. This is your energy. Show the world the real you. Come authentic. Come honest. Come approachable. And new moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. So definitely love coming in. You're going to get the opportunity to love Aquarius. And new moon in Leo, confidence is the key to your success. So yeah, this is some more Leo energy. This is some more strength for you. And I feel like this is confidence. This is you gaining your confidence gaining self-esteem i feel like whatever situation this was it may have tore you down a little bit but i feel like confidence is your key and aquarius it's time to take action definitely 
January 1st through the 15th. Take action, Aquarius. Take action. Okay, I feel like this is for you. Okay, first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. Yeah, I feel like there's new love coming in for you. This is new romance coming in. Be open to new love, Aquarius. Be open to, you know, new experiences, new um, adventure, new beginnings. You have step into your power, first quarter moon in Aries. These cards are so beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> And Aquarius, you have New Moon and Scorpio. Go deeper. So I feel like this is this is asking you, you know, when you come into these obstacles, when you come into these challenges, dive deep into your intuition. Dive deep into that gut feeling. You know, something down deep in your gut that tells you, okay, this is what I need to do. This is where I need to go. This is how I want to approach this. Go deep within yourself. Find that spirituality. You may want to meditate. Um, you may want to take up meditation if you don't already. There are plenty of videos on um, YouTube about meditation. I have a few videos on my website as well that are guided meditation, that are affirmations for positive energy. So you may want to take a look at those. Okay, Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? January 1st through the 15th. We have Green Terra. Supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. Yeah, whatever is ending, you're being protected. You're moving on into a new destination. You know, you're being protected. You're being divinely guided. And you have the white eagle, ancestor spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Okay. So, yeah, you may be healing old beliefs. And you have El Moria, Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Yeah, so the universe is letting you know you have protection. Spirit is letting you know you have protection. So, yeah, this, this is your reading, Aquarius. So in the comment section below, I want you to write in there, you have protection to pursue love and good abundance in 2023. Okay, and if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your Sun, Moon, and Rising clear, um, Aquarius. And Happy New Year. Many blessings to you. Love and light.